Hi, Mike Salmon here, just doing a video on how to use a Mears domestic heating calculator to work out the room heat requirements. Okay, so first of all, we need to have a look at our design criteria. And you can see here for the types of room, and we've got our design room temperatures and our air changes per hour. Also note that this domestic heating calculator is based on an outdoor temperature of minus one. Okay, so for criteria, outside of this when we need to use the Mears Industrial Heating Calculator. Okay, so if that's all okay, we can proceed and we'll, first of all, we need to set the room width to the room length. If it is an uninsulated wood floor, we use the red scale. If it is a solid floor or insulated wood floor, we use the blue scale. Okay, so say we've got a living room and we're gonna go for four meters long by four meters wide. We set this outer scale here Okay, we set there, room width to room length. And then holding this out one in place, we set the room height to design room temperature. Okay. Okay, 2.4 meters high, 21 degrees C. Just check that they still match up, the room width to room length. And we need to see if we've got um, cavity filled walls, U value 0.6, or uninsulated cavity walls u value 1.5 okay so we can see here say we've got a um, cavity filled walls two outside walls and you can see heat requirements are around just below 1.65 kilowatts but we're not done there because we can make numerous adjustments so say this room has one party wall then what we do we need to make a note of this figure here that 1.64 kilowatts and we need to make some extra allowances so for the party wall, we then we will set this arrow here to the length of the party wall. So we set this for four meters. And you can see here for rooms heated to 21 degrees C, 2.4 meters high, we need to add on an additional 0 0.06 kilowatts. Now, as for the window area, we can see this calculator allows for a certain, a certain window area to find out if the uh, allowed window area was sufficient, we need to, using this red scale here, set the room width to the room length. Okay, so we've got four to four, and we had our two outside walls, room height 2.4, and you can see it allows for 3.2 meters squared of window area. If you have greater than that, what you must do, say you've got, say, um, 3.75 meters squared, you will deduct a 3.2 meters squared, which would leave you with 0.55 meters squared difference. And what we do, we have the adjustments here, the extra kilowatt for each extra square meter. So in that case, we would add on an additional 0 0.08 kilowatts for each additional um, room and window area. Okay, now rooms with double glazing explained here, we will deduct off approximately nine percent okay for large windows add only half the figures given in the table here okay also also note here um you can see for bungalows it's just the heat required plus ten percent but um for kitchens or bathrooms and minus five percent for bedrooms bedrooms and landings on the first floor assuming 100 millimeters ceiling insulation proceed as ground floor rooms with wood floors then multiply the heat requirements by the following you see here you match your room up here number of outside walls and we will come up with a new heat requirement okay for bedrooms or first floor living rooms with unheated walls or garage treat as ground floor room with wood floor again bathrooms on first floor proceed as for ground floor rooms with no heat adjustments it does come with good instructions and i have tested this method out comparing it to longhand um CIBSC domestic heating design guide and it, it is accurate it, it does allow for 10 percent oversizing but i would suggest i would definitely suggest if your um outside um design outside temperature is not minus one such as we're in the northwest here where it is minus three then really we should be using the, the industrial mears calculator and they do other ones as well for conservatories for um and for um for, for for extra 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 modern well insulated buildings especially ones built after year 2000 okay so that's it any questions just ask and have a go i hope that helps thank you